have to do this. I have to try and raise it. The bar isn't something that actually lowers, Mr. Cameron. Le who? The her. The bar has been lowered to depths we can't even fathom. If anyone can go down there and raise it back, it's me. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> Descending to 1,000 feet. I don't see the bar yet. Looks like it must have sunk pretty low. Pretty good timing, huh? Whoa. Uh, hey. Look at that. As soon as the intro, you popped in. <laughs> I'm only going to be no, here for a little bit. And I think Lance, I'm, I'm going to be here for even less than a little bit. <laughs> So, especially yeah. as uh, I've still got that restraining order on uh, Toxic and that. that Fair. <laughs> Fair. That, that Fair. All in place, like on screen. Yeah. So, Lord Toxic, you had your big, you had your big silver screen debut. How did it feel? I did. I did. Did I, I was joking when I said that when I saw the trailer, and now after seeing the movie, I'm like, no, that's definitely that's him. totally me. <laughs> 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 so, you know, um, the first thing I I went to see the movie on my own, which I fucking hate doing, by the way. And um, I love that. Well, I, I, I like to be with a friend because I like to talk about the film after. Anyway, I turned to the guy. So on I my hang left out with you with nerds. A, yeah, we're your friend, we're your friends, <laughs> Lance. I, turned, I don't know. To if the you guy know that on my not. left, who was with a big group of buddies, and yeah. I said, "So, what did you think of it?" And he went, "I'm still processing it." <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. Well, I do like that dinner in a movie where you go to the movie, like the Alamo Draft House and stuff like that, where you eat during the movie. Not a fan. I much rather eat, go see the movie, and then go to like the food court and get the Chinese food or whatever. Yeah. Then you talk about like the food, the movie, yeah. while you're eating something after the movie. That's well, that's better. I did keep this one clip for you guys where we start talking about this film, and it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm very happy. West took time out of his busy schedule since he's filming movies and shit, but it's it's right here. <laughs> okay, what kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> you know, yep. I gotta say, I was also kind of shocked about that scene because it definitely played out different than I thought it would. But like, I also, like when he's asking, like, what kind of American you are, mm. I thought he meant, like, you know, are you one of us or are you one of them? But he's literally asking, like, no, what part of America do you come from? Like, where are you <laughs> I, from? I knew what he meant. I knew what he meant. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to be like, yo, are you are you one of us? Are you one of these other guys? You support yeah, I, them. I thought one of the film's strengths was it kind of stayed away from politics. Yes. yes. Me too. Yeah. And I'll, you can um, project a, the president you hate. You can project it onto this president because you don't know anything about him. You don't even know his name. No. All you know is he's an asshole and he's the villain. He's like, all, you, all you know is that he stayed an extra term. So yeah, yeah. presumably yeah, yeah. he kind of went a bit, bit sort of dictatorish. But he also abolished the FBI, which I'm like, that's yeah. awesome. We should yeah. totally abolish the FBI and all other three letter agencies. I've said it many times. Yeah. But yeah, like the idea was, it wasn't like oh, um, because that was something everyone was trying to decipher with the um the politics of the of the war when the trailers and there is yeah. really no politics with the war. All you need to know is like. Their president, whoever whoever's side is on the president, that's the bad guys. And the yeah. good guys are the uh, resistance of whatever. And there's no right or left. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I was quite confused. Like, when we're in New York, mm -hmm. there's, there's stuff happening. There's, like, there's explosions and shit. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't understand where New York fell in terms of, was it on the side? Was it within the president's realm, mm. or was it with the Western forces? Florida kind of seems to be independent. Yeah. Um. Clearly, loads of states didn't just just didn't engage in the war at all. Mm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was kind of it was kind of an interesting setup. You know, you could you could you could do another five movies set in that world at, at different times. Did you watch um, Tyler's video? Tyler had a video that premiered today. It was pretty good. I was no, there. I didn't. I didn't want to. Um, right. I, yeah, I've only just got. I've only just got in from the movie not yeah. that long ago. Yeah, so. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get any kind of different bias. I wanted to kind of judge hear, it yeah. for myself. What did you think, Wes? Did you like it? I, I thought it was. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was one of the best movies yeah. I've seen in a long. I long did like time. it. I liked it too. Yeah. The action I was, was shocked how much I liked good. it. See, 
it was basically a war photography movie. It was a movie about war photographers. Yeah. That was basically what it was about. It wasn't about like yeah. the fall of yeah. America or whatever, like we all yeah. thought it was going to be. It's it, about war it, photography. It takes place in a fictional war, though. Right. It reminded me of that Nick Nolte film, Under Fire. Yeah. Good movie. It's like Good if, movie. it's like if that film and Chuck Norris Invasion USA had a love child. <laughs> it's this movie. Yeah. Basically. Under yeah, Fire my, is a great film. I went with my son and he uh asked me he said he wasn't he said he had some trouble following it and didn't understand he's like well why is this vague and why is that i was like well i think it's purposely vague so that like for a long time they can um you know you can look at it and just decide you know yeah put put in you know because if they got too specific about like why did the war start what happened here why did this happen yeah. the movie yeah. would get that, dated it'd get dated yeah it would fast. get very dated really and fast yeah. And that's this also really, like this you have, be you'd have like another 20 years from now. You'd have another yeah, hour yeah. set up yeah. for the film as well, I think. Like yeah, and also hour. all the world building and stuff is kind of irrelevant because like we know yeah. what America's like and like America's in turmoil. That's all you really need to know. And, and it, um it, I like the way you every time they met a group of people that were fighting, you never knew which right. side the people that they met were really every, on. It seemed like army camo fatigues. So it's like you Well, know, no, they 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 had patches on. They had pat. You guys didn't right catch the patches. Got the well, right there. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, there you go. Oh my God, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I mean, but it, it was. It was never. It was never specifically said in any. Like the two sniper guys. Right. I thought those involved. guys were going to be like kill him. He's trying to kill us. You know. That was it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, like, and the thing about the what Nix is saying, like they, you could link it to something current day. Basically, like whatever your politics are, you could transcribe those politics onto the good guys and the bad guys appropriately yeah. you know it was vague like that so like whatever you know it wasn't it was a divisive film but it wasn't divisive based mm. on whatever your personal politics are or beliefs you could easily kind of project those onto the characters you're rooting for because everything's very vague you know yeah Nick, um, so I, I was definitely worried about that especially with hollywood We're, we all know it you know especially 2024 and there's a certain boy uh, orange man it's a uh, the talk of the town every five seconds yeah I did expect, you know, to his credit, Nick Offerman is in funny part. He's called the president. We don't even know his name. Right. Right. And, and then, yeah, yeah. You know? I loved how, um, yeah, like I said, it's a war photography movie. It's really all about what it, what it's like to be a war photographer, a war journalist, like the risks you have to do to, uh, you know, get your, get the right shots and like, you know, yeah. what it's like yeah. to get those right shots and how those shots like haunt you for your whole, yeah. for the rest of your days. And, you know, you can't oh, yeah. do anything to uh, intervene with these um, tragedies unfolding in front of you. That's what the movie's about. It's not yeah. about, you know, Antifa or, or racial politics or any of that stuff. It's no, not about any of that shit. It was yeah, cool. Very, very deliberately not um, to do with racial yeah. politics. Everyone was very the worried they... this movie was like, the it's the wrong time for this movie. I really yeah. think the whole current day Civil War America was just like a backdrop to get people in the seats. Yeah. Because if this was like, you know, some Iraqi war photography movie, it would be the same movie, but nobody would be interested in seeing it really, or, yeah. or a lot less people would be. And that's yeah. what people were expecting. It's like, to his credit, he, was, he wasn't doing a Biden impression or a Trump impression. He was, I was he, expecting he, straight up Trump, like tr I, Orange he, Man, they got him. Exactly, because it's Hollywood. And you it's could like, easily say this is Biden, like the, the, the way we're going in and getting the, uh, getting the bad guy that's like staying yeah. in office. That's all you need to know. doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. Matt, right. I, I like what you said there. Uh, uh, Enzo with that uh, you can you can just put which whichever uh person yeah. that you dislike you can put on the president so yeah. like yeah. which it doesn't matter um yeah. that was really well done as soon as soon as I saw that's what the stuff they were doing in the first uh, 20 30 minutes I was like okay I see what you guys are doing here this is really smart so yeah, yeah. um yeah Plato, not once did they use the words Republican or Democrat I don't think no. in the entire movie no, they never did. and then also no, they um yeah no. Um, the other thing that's interesting is, um, um, like the, uh, obviously the best part about the movie, because it's a movie centered around photography, the cinematography is the best part of the movie. All the cool, sh you yeah, know, establishing shots. Yeah. Beautiful movie. Beautiful. Really well it's, filmed. Yeah. Very well filmed. Um, the, um, the DOP on it is a guy called Rob Hardy. Um, yeah. and he did, um, Ex Machina, did right. Annihilation. Um, so they were an impossible call out. So the um, yeah, and that's the other thing is like I know Tyler had a problem with the uh, soundtrack, which you know the soundtrack is probably pretty divisive because it is a little tonal clash. But yeah. I, I actually liked how all the songs kind of had this like Americana kind of theme. 
yeah kind of vibe they all had a kind of similar uh, right. style it was really odd i mean i remember like i was in a pretty packed cinema and you could feel how uncomfortable some of those songs made made the audience feel and i think yeah. that was very deliberate you know like yeah you know especially when those guys were being taken to execute to be executed and it was kind of this upbeat yeah. sort yeah. of hip-hop number yeah and i was like thinking what the fuck Dark you know, Plato, basically, yeah. All you need to know is the president is a tyrant. And yeah, he's he's bad. There's no denying about that. They don't really talk about why he's bad, other than like airstrikes on Americans and <laughs> you know, all kinds of stuff. All we know is like there's been a, a third term, and the past 14 months has been a war, and there's mm -hmm. several states that have seceded or tried to secede, and basically the conflict, the fighting conflict, is the forces from the seceding states are marching yep. on their way to Washington to physically. Uh, remove yeah. this uh, third term president from as, office as you as you do as you do right. in, a, in right. a coup yeah and, was, and that's Whatever. the problem too, was like uh, people said the entire country some states at like missouri they mentioned i think colorado they want to pretend it just doesn't exist other states like california and uh texas like kind of unite and what's it called the, the, the western front is the the faction yeah look, western, uh, forces, western forces, forces. I've, got, I've got a map uh, for you blue oh, sure. also yeah. um yeah, yeah cool. basically um oh, sure, so man. this is this is the map ah. of the the uh, this is the New People's Alliance, which is the yellow. Yeah. The Western uh, uh, the Western forces are the green, uh -huh. and then the United um, Alliance uh, states of the South, who are kind of neutral, are in the red. Yeah. So it's basically green versus the blue, but I think the yellow are kind of helping out a bit, and then the red is sort of staying neutral. Yeah. Um. And yeah, yes. the blue get defeated. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then basically, Kristen uh, Dunce and all the reporters, their goal is to get to Washington before the Western forces. And uh, they, they're assuming that the president's going to be killed immediately. So they're trying to yeah. get the last interview possible with the president somehow. Uh, yeah. I think the, um, I, th I think the, the forces going into the White House were a little bit amenable to the to the reporters and the photographers but yeah. you know without that there isn't really a film so well yeah. that's one thing i wanted to ask because wes has you know military background and military uh experience obviously when i'm watching a the film these guys are very um i guess like i guess like, they're kind of working with the reporters like it like does this stuff really happen with you no. just the cameras never like, is, never. Okay. never that's one thing I Never. wouldn't feel the realism of military operations because I'm like, they got these guys doing gunfights and the reporters right next to the guy and the guys patting the reporter Never. on the back while he's shooting. And I'm like, okay. And, and the reason, and the reason why, and, and you see it like happen, what, how many times did they tell little, uh, you know, yeah. up, upgrade uh, Ellen, uh, Ellen Page to get out of, out of the fucking way, way and yeah. stay down? And if you're doing that, what are you not uh, doing? Right there. Yeah, you're, you're not, not confronting, on the confronting enemy. enemies. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, that would never. I mean, listen, it's a movie. You got to suspend the disbelief and just go. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess you could headcan it and just say that if these guys want to be on the right side of history in a civil war, that they want to have as much, you know, I don't know, journalism on their side. I guess maybe, maybe you could make an argument for that. I don't know, but she's I mean, one of the leads in um, Alien Romulus. Yeah, oh, this oh this movie this movie gives me hope uh, that because she knocked it out of the fucking park in this she's movie. Cute. She's uh, and that's the thing is like I'm at the age now where like 23 year olds look like they're 15 to me. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, <laughs> like dude, this, okay. this girl's a child. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, and she actually she actually is from Missouri old. in real life, so, oh, which is kind of cool. Well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the basic premise, like everyone's saying. Uh, you know, Kirsten Dunst's character, she's kind of, uh, she's been been there, done that. She's pretty jaded, and she wants to get that last story with the president because she wants yeah. to hear if the president will give her a um interview. And even Kirsten, saying that. Uh, yeah, Kirsten Dunst yeah. is very jaded. Uh, I love the yeah. part where uh, there's a part where she has to go walk up 10 flights of stairs to her hotel room, and she takes a bath, and, like, yeah. just seeing all the crazy, like, African war crimes she's photographed for yeah. over the years in her memory. So the guy uh, being awesome, on awesome, fire with yeah, the tire. Awesome footage of a guy getting a, um, what's that, what's that called? Necklace. When they yeah. put a tire around you and light you on fire. That oh, shit yeah. was amazing looking. It looked like they really light a guy on well, fire for the I movie. I know, it was, it was, it was horrible. That. I'll tell you one thing, uh, promotion I've material. I've seen plenty of those videos in real, for real, so, you know, whatever. Forward, me and her the same <laughs> age. I'm just saying, like the, the, the photography and some of the pictures, they weren't the best with Kirsten. <laughs> like, they, well, they I like how oh, she yeah. hasn't. No, she's aging. She's not getting you know, the I, fucking facelifts no, and yeah, Botox. 
Wow. It's normal for those jowls to kind of drop a little on the sides. And uh, it's not other... normal. It's not normal. It's it's 30 years of smoking is why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smoking. Like sure. Sure. I mean, that's why still. she looks yeah. like. But uh, obviously she's... it adds to her character because she's like a, you know, uh, a grizzled. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll talk yeah. about that more when I get to my complaining. <laughs> but I wanted it. I wanted to give you guys front row and center because i you guys gotta kick off early or whatever so i'll i'm gonna shut my fat mouth for a little bit <laughs> yeah um, i mean yeah i probably need to get off uh pretty soon all right buddy hello um, freezing um, how'd you yeah. guys feel about like oh, what's the actor's name look out for who plays um pablo escobar oh yeah i just well, call him pablo escobar but yeah yeah pa pa I, pablo I, escobar light I remember in, him from Elysium. Uh, He's the Wagner, guy, Wagner <laughs> the Mexican Mora. dude with all the. He was just species. recently in uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Smith TV show. He's really good in it. His too. name's oh, Wagner. Wag Wagner Mora. Yep. What a cool name. Yeah. That is a cool um, name. Yeah, he's uh, he's really good in it. Uh, Brazilian actor. He's like two hundred. Um, he's like two hundred pounds thinner since Narcos. <laughs> right. He kind of plays a kind of nuts character, um, oh. but I, I liked it. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Well, remember at one point, like they're uh, they're outside their camp and are getting ready for tomorrow. And you see all the stuff in the background. He goes, man, all that all that gunfire just makes me hard. <laughs> yeah, like, war uh, photographers. It's like yeah. they got the uh, four uh, war photographers, and they all have like the four. Uh, you know, you've got the jaded, uh, uh, quiet one, and, and then you've got the old, the old guy who's been there, seen it all, but he's like, you know, kind of. Yeah, he was. He was it great. Up. He was great, he, wasn't I he? I thought he was a little underutilized, but yes, he's he's always yeah. good. That actor. Yeah. Well, Were you guys uh, not expecting those two army press embedded? Journos to get killed. No, of course. I was. No, I was. Yeah, I, I definitely I, I, was. I thought they were gonna, especially when they were near the gate and they were they were talking and they were kind of. I, I was. Yeah, I one hundred percent agree. I thought any second now they're gonna get splattered. Yeah, over I was just place. waiting for like a mortar shell to like land right. I was also. Uh, yeah, it was the same thing with the. Um, you meet these two other. Um, these two other people show up. The, and Asian, like, okay. the Asian chick and the young kid from Yellowstone. The other. Yeah, they're, I, yeah they're, I'm talking about the two Asian guys. Right? When the two yeah. Asian guys show up, I'm like, okay, here comes some cannon fodder. Here comes yeah. someone that could. They die. might as well had. They might yeah. as well had red shirts on. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Because you can't kill the core four that early. You know, you gotta. Yeah. You gotta have I a. Beat you um, to it, Nick's. <laughs> yeah. So we're somebody. Um. <laughs> so yeah, what were the complaints you had for this movie? What's well, one I thing I'll ask you guys? I'm not sure, and Lance probably knows from a cinematographer standpoint, but Wes, like these are uh, these war journalists. I mean, these people do exist, right? But like, not this. Yeah, capacity. they exist, but they don't go. Listen, number one, they don't. Th dude, there's no. I, I'm sure. I I definitely know that they stand around going, "Yeah, all this gunfire makes me hard." Yeah, they talk like that, hmm. but I've seen the one or two embedded journalists that we even had the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, on a USO tour over there with a with a MTV journalist and shit over in Iraq, and uh, as soon as the bombs start going off and sniper fire happens, they no they fucking cry and they they jump down and they don't move again until a chopper comes and gets them. They they're not running around okay. doing all that shit. That was just ridiculous, man. Okay. Well, uh, mean, you could argue that um, there has been 14 months of uh, conflict, so maybe they're all a little. Also, Kirsten Dunst, you know, traveling. They've all been battle hardened. But yeah, I also didn't like that. How uh, um, we had, I, I don't know if you were paying attention the last 15, 16 years. We just had like 20 year war. Uh, right. And so I don't, I don't know if you were in on that at all. And if you were in, in, the, in, in the Middle East, the journalists are a lot, like, they're a lot more in the thick of it because they're getting killed over there all the time, man. Especially yeah, in, um, I do hate how you paint these journalists as like 100% heroic and like they're just doing like they, they they're under the false pretense that journalists steal journal journalism. They don't. Yeah. All journalists nowadays are fucking paid actors, paid writers. They just like get paid to pay to write puff pieces and advertisements. That's all Agreed. they do nowadays. Everything they do Agreed. is scripted. Yeah. Where is the 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 video? Where's the images of like Kirsten Dunst being on a Skype call with like some kind right. of fucking globalist telling them exactly what to write and where to go? <laughs> this is the shit that we need. I mean, yeah. this idea. I mean, that, if, like... if you want to see an accurate representation of what I saw overseas with journalism, <laughs> uh, that Tina Fey movie is pretty. Pretty, oh, pretty WTF? Accurate. Whiskey Tango yeah. Fox? Whiskey yeah, Tango oh, yeah Fox I've seen that. That's a good film. That's a good film. That, that was pretty um, yeah. that, that was pretty based as far as what I saw, as far as when journalists are around. But, I mean, maybe I was doing, I mean, obviously, I, you know, I was doing different stuff than, so, and again, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe they're, they've been around for so long. It kind of seemed to me that the, the older black gentleman, uh, he had, uh, 
a pretty good handle on what was going on. He was pretty based through the whole thing. He he was like, listen, they're going to shoot us as soon as we oh, get yeah. down there. And, you know, yeah. and then, you know, that, that thing with J uh, Jesse Plemons, he's like, that's death down there. Like he just, he knew yeah. what every was going instinct on. in me is telling me this is death. Yeah. And he's great because like, yeah, he's one of these, he's the reporter that's trying to preserve himself, trying to, uh, he's looking yeah. out for himself above all, you know, then you've got like the, uh, um, Brazilian guy uh, who's basically, uh, you know, the exact opposite, like willing to yeah, just he's throw a rock, himself. He's a rock yeah. star. Yeah, he's a Rolling Stone like rock star type, you know, in love with It's his also own. a good, yeah, it's a good road trip movie uh, because that's, I mean, yeah. essentially what it is and, and I love the, the ticking clock. They keep like counting down how many miles they are from Washington. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, for the most part it's just kind of like, um, kind of like 28 Days Later or some of these other cool disaster movies where it's just like set piece after set piece after set piece um kind of yeah, the all production design on it was was really good really yeah. believable. amazing it was amazing yeah. and i and you know me guys i don't usually give a shit about stuff like that but right. i was like look i was looking at that stuff and i was like man i feel like i'm there huh. yeah there's nothing cuz like when you have like a fucking far out science fiction world you know that's kind of yeah. That's, you know, that's one thing, but to have like the real world, but like shown in a different way, you know, a, a crazy, fantastical way, like everything, all the cities are isolated and abandoned and there's just like random buildings on fire. Yeah. And it's just, it's Ooh. nuts. Right. I've got to go guys. All right, buddy. Thanks for stopping, we'll Thanks in, for stopping in Lance. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, no worries. I'll catch you, uh, yeah. some of you on Sunday because we're doing that Hillsborough thing. Don't forget. Oh God. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hillsborough. Yeah. Don't forget to watch the movie. Yeah, it's on I'm YouTube, trying, actually. Try to check yeah. it out. Yeah, it is on YouTube. Yeah, and so if you can come on that as well, that'd be great. All right. You'll love it. It's a really cheerful film. <sighs> yeah, okay. <man. laughs> I feel like you're being <laughs> sarcastic. Hell yeah. I'll see you soon. Yeah, all right. All right. Yeah, it hurts Cheers, one of, uh, hurts one of those, like real-life movies where it's like you watch it and you're like, man, this is pretty fucked up. <laughs> you know what I'm going to watch? Oh, I did watch that I'm going to talk about on Tuesday was I watched mm -hmm. a, um, a movie called Festival of the Living Dead. It's about huh. a music festival that's overcome by zombies. And you know what I realized halfway through the movie? <laughs> it's directed by the Sasuke sisters. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They, I, I just there. They like make a cameo. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? That's the Saskas. And then I look it up and they're like, oh, my God, they directed this. Holy shit. These two characters only have one scene. But I did like that scene. Right. And I liked how, um, you know, when you saw the trailer, I thought, oh, OK. So the trans allied army are going to attack the evil rednecks. That's not at all. You have no idea who these guys are fighting for. Yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, there's a really good um, scene. What's about about the almost the one hour mark where they come into a standpoint and there's a sniper shooting at these guys. And of course, uh, Pablo Escobar's character taps him. He's like, "So which side do you want?" He's like, "Which side do you want?" That like, was Who that cares? had the whole. Uh, by the way, I was in a packed audience, just yeah. so you know. Um, and um, like there was like it was almost standing room only. People were like fighting oh. over the handicap seats. And I've never <laughs> seen. I have not seen since I moved here in 2021. Oh, here we go, Wes. Look at that. Sorry, Bye, buddy. No, I found uh, right there. That's the picture. Oh, it's hard to see it, but yeah. 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 Anyway. Uh, I have not seen a packed theater. The only time I actually, that's a lie. I did one time I saw um, Spider Man or uh, uh, No Way Home. So, that was the only other time I've seen a packed theater. But they were all laughing in that scene, basically. Oh, yeah. When the guy was just like, because I knew where he was going with that. He's like, yeah. so. Are you, are you not you're listening to me? <laughs> yeah. Are, so, okay. So you're all the way retarded. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he asked the girl, and he's like, so what are we doing over here? She's like, guys shooting at us. There you go. Uh, it's easy. Yeah. Is... But that's great because that scene was great because actually, like, yeah, let's say you are part of the fucking alphabet ally soup, you know? Honestly, that, that's the entire scene played. That's what it's played let's out. Let's say you are an LGBTQ side. guy. You could easily side with this guy because, like, yeah, he basically spells it out. He's like, look, this person's trying to kill us, so we're trying to kill them. Yeah. And that's basically how every deranged uh, trans person feels right now. But it's also how, like, everyone feels. If you're trying to kill me, I'm going to kill you. It's just that simple. Yeah. So it's something that everyone can relate to. It's not like it's not like they say like, oh, this guy, he doesn't support LGBT rights. You know, he tried to kill us because we're gay. <laughs> they don't say anything like that. It's very everything's very vague on purpose, which I, I really appreciated. Yeah, because we have to respect the fact they weren't picking like, yeah, it's a lesser lesser movie. with lesser writers could have been. Yeah. A racist, this trans. Uh, oh, um, dude bisexual this and so yeah another thing my favorite thing about the movie fucking hour and 40 minutes long it's fucking short uh, no, it's right here west now do these kind of helmets exist or is, it, is this fictional yeah oh, no yeah. that's real those yeah, look like helmets. un helmets yeah, yeah. all right I'm sure those are like yeah. oh, that's like old school. that's old school helmets right there well the one on the right is the one on the left is 
is called an ACH. The other one's called a Kevlar. Right. You have no idea, though, how happy I was when I, you know, was watching this and realized, like, it's um, not two hours and 45 minutes long yeah. or whatever the hell. Right. Is. Right. Uh, so, like, so, like, what uh, Nick says, Wes, so, uh, uh, you know, how was, was the gunplay? How was the lack? How was the or for the lack of wording, better wording, gunplay, gunplay. close? It's uh, Nick's. It's the most realistic gun yeah. battle shit I've seen in a non uh a non actual like war movie it's i would put it on par with uh the covenant or um uh land of bad actually yeah. it's it's actually better than land of bad as far as gunplay goes i would put it on par like realism with like saving private ryan yeah the movie's got basically two or three small gunfight gun battles and then the big final scene which is like dude right there all the shit you saw in the trailers. Uh, why is this circled? Like, I have no that? idea. I Hello. Know. Like, do you see the explosion? Like, yes, we fucking see it. Yeah. Idiot. God, um, I hate this shit. So, I, I, so were you guys confused on, uh, you're, you're talking like you had a hard, uh, because you could see their patches on their arm, uh, has the two stars. Over well, the no. Flag. Yeah. I knew yeah. like you, I knew who the, who was on one side and who was on the other, oh, okay. but basically okay. like, for instance, like, um, like there's the first battle skirmish you see where like you've got dudes in camo fighting yeah. uh, guys in plain clothes and the guys in plain yeah. clothes are the Western forces. Yeah. Right. But then later when you see the actual Western forces, people um, you realize like, Oh, you, you, I was under the impression the Western forces were kind of this ragtag kind of group of people, or at least those people with the clo plain clothes. I'm were. sure. I'm yeah. sure the guys out, and the boonies where they were in like West right. Virginia probably are, but the but guys then when they are... get to the big group meeting, like the, where the right. big two star flag is like, you realize the Western yeah. forces have fucking helicopters and tanks there. They have their, so the, they're, they're keep talking about how like, Oh, it's only a matter of time to the Western forces get to Washington. And once they do, it's over. The president is, is done for, well, you know, I think all he has defending him right now is the secret service. Yeah. Basically. I think that was one thing uh, I was questioning or, Stuck on West, you know this. So the whole premise of the film is that the Western forces are trying to get back to Washington, D.C., get to the White House. The president mm -hmm. at this point only has a Secret Service protecting him, small, small yeah, group small people. Soldier and, group. and basically the military are kind of like uh, storming the White House in a sense. But like, isn't doesn't the president kind of control the military in a sense? Like, like is that feasible to happen? Not in a coup, he doesn't. Yeah, oh. yeah. The generals, the generals will will generally, no pun intended control the military so like oh. the coups that i i've seen a coup in western haiti i've seen a coup in uh not the most recent one but the one that happened in 2010 uh i've seen a coup in uh, uh senegal in um sierra leone and yeah. usually it's it's like a contingent forces is what? loyal to the president and then you know uh well you, that's the thing think of, no think, oh go ahead sorry Think of them as like the royal guard in Game of Thrones, like mm -hmm. and then, but like the rest of the, you know, uh, the rest of the men are are, are come, the rest of the, yeah. the soldiers are coming after him. Think of it so like, like that. The okay. Secret Service they swear an oath to protect the president, whereas the army and stuff they protect the Constitution. So if right. you did have a president okay. go rogue and start violating people's constitutional rights, like Biden is. Theoretically, you could have a bunch of generals just show up and fucking pull right. a coup like this. Yeah. Because plus, plus you have to think about the fact that the Western forces probably started off just a bunch of guys like the small ragtag group we saw in the Hawaiian shirts and stuff. Yeah, but and you then see, more states start seceding, right? And, and then they start getting national guards start joining, right? Yeah. And then exactly, exactly. So you get like a bunch of military guys going. And then, you know, it's like anything else. They see the writing on the wall and go, you know, hey, I'll, I'll pledge allegiance to the Western forces. It's all good. You know, oh, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's well, as long like, as you're winning. You got your t uh, Trump always calls them the TV generals, you know, and then you've got the yeah. real generals. Right. They're actually like running shit, you know. Right. So, right. Right. Who knows? Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, I have a couple complaints here and there. But for the most part, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I, you know, I. I like seeing uh, everybody in a packed theater. Uh, I was very happy with the performances. You know, um, I will say, you know, if you're my age and you grew up with Kirsten Dunst, it's really, it's really sad to see her look like a, a total piece of shit. I knew that she'd been having a, a problem smoking and stuff. I've seen her in like entertainment yeah. magazines and stuff. I mean, she looks horrible. I She's mean, looking it's a really little, sad. a little, a little, a little doggish, but it's Dude, okay. Her, I am ten years older than Kirsten Dunst. She looks fifteen years older than me. 
Yeah, I'm I mean, like it. you said, smoking uh, cigarettes is well, bad for you, you folks. Know, if anybody checks the uh, the trailers for this film, it's like, yeah, Wes is not the first person. It's the internet. It's like he's the only person saying that. <laughs> no, and I'm sorry that that, but I mean, she's the, she's almost the star of the, I mean, she pretty much is the star of the movie. So, I mean, yeah. she's, and it's got a lot of face close-ups. I don't know what yeah. you want me to say. I can't, you know, it's very distracting when she just looks movie. like an average normal woman, you know? I mean, that's the thing. She's not a fucking hot. I mean, she wasn't in, you know, her being yeah. cast as Mary Jane was always kind of frowned upon because, you know, yeah, I she's got she great, pretty hot. I she got she great titties. Hot. She got great titties and she's pretty, pretty hot. But fucking Mary Jane should be like top 10 stunner you know like megan oh, fox right. and transformers no, right. you know distractingly hot like to where peter peter parker's constantly like thanking his lucky stars that he gets to touch her with his penis you know yeah. well right. yeah the premise of, of mary jane uh in the comics she's, a, she's Parker, a fucking world famous model and actress model, you know? yeah 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 yeah, so um, that, that's what, yeah her playing check. this grizzled war photographer was fine um well for the no, it was yes, no, it yeah, was it was fine no it was she fine. looked I, like this and they were still trying to make it seem like she was a betty That'd be one thing, but I, I hear you. Fact, and, you know, I feel like, um, yeah, you're right about her. Uh, you know, she's wearing like normal, like mannish clothes the whole movie also. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, what's the, and, like and she didn't overdo it either. And she wasn't yeah. a boss, babe. Um, no. You know, they get that no. part where she where she fucking she collapses under it. She pulls yeah. a Captain Miller from Same Private right. Ryan and, you know, she's it also, starts, uh, she gets overwhelmed. But so, yeah, I like, you know, I like the whole thing. I'm here for the yeah, whole thing. She's also, uh, she's also like, yeah, kind of stoic and stuff. And like I said, this is one of those characters you could easily just sex swapped her, race swapped her. Wouldn't have mattered. None of that stuff is important. You could easily made this character a man, made it a black man. Wouldn't matter. Same shit. Yep. True. Literally yep. the same movie. Because <laughs> there's, yep. there is no real romance or anything in this movie. No. Um, which I'm kind of happy about. And she doesn't she doesn't pick up a Uzi and be like, oh, yeah. I'm going to get us out of this. You know, they they're just never, they're on their yeah. cameras. The they're whole photographers. Time. Yeah. This is a movie about right. war photography, period. I, I everything that I was worried was going to happen a little bit. I, I was huh. that was quickly assuaged of that worry. Huh. Is so, that true, Wes? Uh, whoever controls the most air powered drones would win. I don't think you yeah. understand how easy it is to knock drones down. It is so easy to knock drones down. Drones mm. are a luxury. Drones are only good if you have people who don't have surface to air. And, and it was very obvious that both sides were extremely well, well armed. If you're using them against, you know, if, if you're, if you're a couple bank robbers that only got pistols and an AR that are running away. Yeah. Drones are great. If you're using okay. them against Hajis that only got a couple AKs and, and mortars and stuff like that. But like it, drones are extremely easy to uh to get rid of so i mean i'm just saying someone saying pledge allegiance to anything other than constitution yeah <laughs> it's yeah. darth i thought i always thought darth i thought darth was uh british well i assume so well even if he is well, based <laughs> yeah even a stick's not chopstick if you know what i mean Wes. <laughs> even just a stick. i do that was my i laughed i okay so the, uh, really? i will say this living in a liberal town uh hmm. no, Dred did not make. I don't know what. I don't know where you're getting that from. That's crazy. Is, is, that, I mean, is that a Call of Duty thing reference that I don't understand? <laughs> I'm not a big. Video I know. Game I know there's drones all over the Russian Ukrainian conflict, but yeah, I mean, those uh, you know, those drones do take out like some tanks easily. You've seen it. I, mean, uh, I can only assume, I mean, based on like, films like this, that I'm guessing a drone in a big location, like say in Iraq, in a huge massive field, is one thing. Having yes. drones navigate to like New York City, yes. it's a lot easier yes. with a tank versus. I mean, people see New York City and watch. Oh shit! TV. A drone I mean, with like an infrared camera can like you know go. Up. I mean, the thing is, like using drones to attack you is one thing. Using drones to just find you is a totally different thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, them drones, man. You need to watch out because, like, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, I mean, I would be freaked out about drones because, like, you know, they just attach a little explosive charge on a little crappy disposable drone. And you don't even really, you kind of, you don't even hear. It's like a little insect coming after you. You don't even realize yeah. until you, it's like right yeah. behind you that it yeah, fucking flies question, right in your head and detonates and blows to, your head off. Consider America is like, you know, the, the military, the strongest country in the world, and we're, we're the best at everything, you know, West with the military. Why are we the strongest country in the but, world? Because we have the Second Amendment. Because we, the populace, yeah. are armed. We are all armed. We all should be armed. And without that, like, no, we're not the most formidable country. Like, anybody yeah. right now who is like, let's invade America and, t and attack. For, it's like most... 
anybody would know like that is insane. That is so mm. it's gonna be so hard well, because well, we've already we've already been invaded. So no, yeah, we are being about. invaded for sure. But the second they decide to go hit the streets, like I think they're gonna realize like, oh man, these fucking these because you know when shit gets bad, you know, you, you got go. a gun to defend yourself, you know. Yeah. But when shit gets worse, the neighborhoods start like banding together and like making sure everyone's armed and like, dude, you'd be surprised how yeah. fast we will fucking, you know, kick, take care of some kind of shit like that. Well, no, or at least try to. Because the question I'm wondering, like, Wes, um, you know this, Go if ahead. a civil war were to break out and considering yeah. what this is capable of, why not we have okay, we the Second Republic of Texas and California, the Loyalists, Western Forces, why aren't we dropping nukes on each other? Because it's our own country. Why would do you we not, not know what? Do you not know what nukes do, buddy? No, I understand. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But like, if you get like, you know, if if, if you the wrong person empowered, wrong military, a, a corrupt president, if he's that fucked up, why not just drop nukes on a goddamn? That's country? not what you need to ask yourself. No, you need to ask no. yourself the opposite, which is, if we have a civil war, how long do you think it's going to be before we get nuked? Right. Oh shit. Sure. That's what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, if we have I mean, a civil war. The other, the only... other countries that have nukes are going to go. No. Wait a minute, this shit is looking. Uh, this this is no longer sustainable. Uh, we don't know who's going to grab those fucking nukes and shit. We better hit them first before they hit us because we okay. don't we don't know what you know who's going to be in charge. Is it going to be with our interests, not our interests? Some fucking local yokel. Like yeah. that's that's what you need to worry about with nukes. You need to worry about yeah. what the other countries well, are going to yeah. do to us. It's just, it's just if we have but I mean, like, let's say you nuked right. Washington for like you're saying, like yeah. dude, that that entire area, like it would be irradiated for a while, especially even if, a, even if it was like a small tactical nuke. Like, what are you yeah. saying? Like, no, you don't. Uh, well, I'm just guessing. We, it's we, it. we would only nuke our own country if there was like a Godzilla running around and we had no fucking other <laughs> option. That was the only way we would like nuke our own fucking land. You know? bases, subs, Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, that's what one just asked. Like, if you're if you're in Texas, right? Like, you don't like you're not gonna live in Washington D.C. You really don't care if the president is as bad as you see. He is just fucking nuke his yeah. Head. But the radiation <laughs> plume it moves. You know what I mean? You don't know where it's gonna go based on weather patterns. Um, so, like, you could accidentally irradiate entire swaths and, yeah, of right. uh, farmland because of one fucking nuclear bomb that goes off somewhere. You in know, like twenty four Wes would know this. I mean, I know we're constantly evolving our technology. No, so you, don't don't plenty, you don't have to. You don't have plenty to drop of them. Yeah, there are plenty of non-nuclear b- bombs that could easily take out, you know, a guy in the White House. You don't need to just Correct. jump straight Correct. to nukes. <laughs> like Jesus, right? Nukes are always going to be the last. Uh, the, the, last the thing about effort. nukes, the thing also, the thing about nukes, when it, when it happens, it's like uh, it's like breaking windows in an abandoned building. Once you have a couple go off, then it's fucking. Then then a bunch of them are going to go off because people don't know what happens because it 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 creates an EMP, so it shuts down all the electronics. Uh, like Enzo said, there's nuclear fallout everywhere. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's not this like little controlled thing. I always think back to like the Manhattan project movie that I saw when I was a kid and, and the one kid makes a nuclear weapon to kind of, I guess, prove a point or whatever. And mm. John Lithgow, and he's like, Hey, we'll take it to the park. There's like hundreds of square miles. And, and John Lithgow was like, you don't understand what it is that you took there, you know? And so, yeah. you know, once you start once you start fucking around with that, then, you know, that's game over right there. That's why it's, it's, ins- you know, that's why our parents grew up to be insane because uh, they fucking had to live with that threat. Because I mean, once it, once it goes, then it just, everybody's done, you okay. know? So. No, that's why I asked for, because it, this is questions that if this yeah, basically happens, don't ever put blue collar in charge of the news, <laughs> that's what we learned. Right. So I'm a new, I'm nuking everybody. Jesus. <laughs> I uh, live in a pretty progress. I live in a red state, but a very progressive blue town. And I will tell you that some of my reactions to the, oh, theater, yeah. to, to the stuff that happened in the movie did not go over well. Oh, were you were you laughing like when they were I was, burying the I, mass grave and stuff? Well, like yeah. when they have that first big thing, I one I scene. saw that girl strap a body bomb to herself, and I already knew what oh, was right. going to happen. Yeah, and same. I was like, oh, here it comes. And then when she comes running with the American flag and blows up the water point. Uh, and kills all those people. I was like, hell yeah. Now we got something going. And like, everybody's looking at me like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Uh, and then, you know, of course, when Jesse Plemons popped up and uh, started doing his bullshit, I was like, yes. And when he yeah. popped that, he's like, oh, this is your, this is, this is your friend right here. Okay. Clap. And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, wait, oh, where are you from? You're, you're from Hong Kong. So you're from China. Okay. <laughs> You're like well, laughing. Was, you're like the well, guy he, from. You're like Robert De Niro, Cape Fear, like laughing in the back of the yeah, theater. He was legitimately terrifying. Yeah. I mean, he's basically like, 
you know, a mercenary. Yeah, but it's also great because, like, you don't know if, like, it's never really established, like, is he going rogue? Or yeah, he's has going he got rogue. crazy no, going, orders? Like, no, you don't he's really, going rogue. It's no, kind of established. Rogue. It's yeah. kind of like, you don't, yeah, yeah. Because you see, he took his patch off. Oh, okay. right. Okay. He's got his combat patch he's got on. His he fun the, little, he's got his raver glasses on. Right, right. Now, yeah, and that happens in war a lot too. You have little uh break off factions that'll go off and and you know, it's just like it's just like anything yeah. else. It's just like, you know, Blood Diamond, you know, you see the little guys creating their own little checkpoints and and taking over town so they can rape and pillage and I mean, I don't know about you guys. That's what I'm looking forward to uh when uh when it goes down. So What's well, assuming I know like uh one thing Tyler said, his oh, one criticism was that he he worries that like that's showing one side of the equation. I'm like, well, to be fair, I mean, guys like Jesse Plemons' character, let's not act like these, act like these guys don't exist in 2024. They I, do exist. You're you're doing a fucking yeah. podcast with one right now. That's me. <laughs> I would do that. He doesn't just look like me. He acts like me. That's what yeah. I'm going to do if shit. If this gets to this point. I'm going to have a group of guys and we're going to take over a town. And then I'm going to ask you questions. And if I don't like your answer, you're going to catch some hot shit well, in your chest. It was, um, hot shit. yeah, I, I did check. Um, I ran out of time. Uh, Nick's for Amazon. I couldn't get there in time. <laughs> I'm gonna get some for, uh, for Tuesday. But one thing, you know, with the scene that happens there where they have this mass grave and all these people, if you watch it slowly, once the girl falls in there and you're pulling her out, that scene, I was watching closely. There's a lot of kids in there too. Oh yeah. Like, we're getting was, into spoilers though. Dark, man. I'm just saying. I think, we, like, I think we've been in spoilers, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, minor. Well it's, a, well, it's a premise, but well, the whole point of a civil war, though, civil war, people tend to forget, like, who throw that term around so loosely nowadays. Oh, it's just a civil war. You do understand the fact that when civil war happens, it's not like you're just killing guys on guys. No, everybody's fair game. They're killing fucking kids, women, the elderly, the sick. It's not just like guys like this right here are the only people being killed in a civil war. We're all fucked. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I just I get sometimes irritated by people who like they throw a term so loosely like, like it's a joke. Well, you know, our TikTok generation. Oh, if a civil war well, that, happens, that kind of leads me into my really my probably my only complaint, if I'm being honest. Uh, and I'm glad you you brought that. So if I'm really gonna complain about anything and it's pretty consistent through the whole thing, uh <laughs> yes. I, I I I but he's my friend though, Nick. That's the problem. I gotta buy one. I can't control Amazon shit. Uh, so I felt knowing the severity of this, it's not like this is like a, the beginning of the civil war. Like you're like Enzo said, it's been going on several months. Uh, it's been going on for a long time. They know what's happening. Yeah. Um, they even pointed out by telling that one small town, hey, you know, there's like a pretty big civil war happening. So they they understand the stakes, and yet a lot of times, too many times. These fucking journalists, with the exception of Kirsten Dunst, to a point, uh, are just kind of, they're kind of like bebopping around like they're having a fucking good time. Yeah. And, you know, they're really, they're they are not, they're just like, hey, we'll find an abandoned uh, parking lot and just go to sleep tonight and just chill. And then tomorrow we're going to run around with the guys uh, fighting. And then, uh, the you know, hey, we're going to pull a, um, you know, a, a fucking... Uh, what is that movie? The dancing movie that we're not supposed to dance. Uh, what is it called? Footloose. We're going to pull Close, a footloose yeah. and jump in each other's cars because, hey, yeah. we're having so much fun. And, you know, like they're really just fucking around and just yeah. making a lot of assumptions that they're not going to get killed. They seem yeah. almost shocked to run into a Jesse Plemons. Well, except yeah. for the older black guy. They seem almost like, hey, we, hmm. we should be able to talk our way out of this. So, yeah. no. I think it's seriously. Not hey, guys, no. sorry. There's a little misunderstanding here. Huh? Uh, we have yeah, our hostages I mean, back. <laughs> yeah, Kirsten Dunst's character, she should take a lot more seriously because there is flashbacks of she's... This is not her first rodeo. She's been doing right. this shit for a very long time. In fact, she's actually pretty famous as being this um this world, this world-renowned combat photographer. So right. the fact that she, she does play a couple of scenes pretty stupidly considering what she's been through and what she's seen. Right. Um, that's what um, I don't think, Wes, I want to ask you because I think people... Uh, Nowadays, they're so used to like school and history, and like they think civil war. They think civil war is either half the country down, half the country up. But realistically, sure. in 2024, how this map is right here, this would probably be like it's not going to be like you know 25 states versus 25 states, right? It would probably be something no. like this. And there'll be yeah. there'll be states that that won't get involved, and and the whole California yeah. Texas thing seemed like uh, it it seemed like they didn't like necessarily partner up with each other, but you could head cannon that it's like. California got sick of all the shit that was going. You could easily say they probably got sick of all the fucking overtaxing and then not being able to leave the state and 
you know, uh, yeah. all the the high shit. And so they probably just someone, uh, you know, they got rid of Gavin Newsom or whoever and whoever's the Gavin Newsom of their world mm-hmm. and just said, hey, Texas, listen. And they're the two biggest states. So and they're the two the the probably the two most powerful, you could argue. Hey, man. Um, so yeah. it would um, it would definitely be uh, something that is very conceivable. I realize in in today's uh, political climate, that seems ridiculous, but that's not what we're dealing with in this, in this universe. We're dealing with like shit has gone bad. Like once shit goes bad, there's no, you're the the rules that you think were the rules are no longer the rules. And and again, and to circle it back to what I was talking about, that's why I didn't like the whole thing with the reporter thing. The reporters seem to think, uh, you know, what? I'm a, I got a press pass. That's why I love the, the trans soldier was just like, uh, oh yeah, thank you for showing me that pass because I didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't figure it out because it was written all over your truck. You yeah, know, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I just, you know, that, that bothered me. But I mean, again, you know, I, I don't know what they're, they're talking about. I, I was in Iraq for three years. I probably saw like three or four reporters. None of them were not one single one of them was in a firefight yeah. with me. So I, mean, I, you know, I don't know. They were told nothing. to stay away from you, dude. Well, I mean, not for nothing. They probably were. They, that's you can right. take people in the, the, the celebrity world, like say from Joe Rogan, Ben Shapiro, as much as we may, you know, like or dislike Nerd Roddick, like all these people that were in the California, they all fucking moved to Texas. Here's what's funny. How many celebrities left California to go to Texas? So oh, right. Yeah, yeah. You know? Florida, Texas. Yeah, they're all yeah. yeah, they're and now the next big state everyone's going to is Montana. Everyone's migrating there and really? um Utah. Everyone's going to Utah. Mm. I was going to this fucking yeah, and that movie, uh, that show Yellowstone has apparently ruined that fucking state because all these assholes are moving there, like trying to start a ranch. It's like you fucking posers. Um, <laughs> here's the thing, um, and I just saw this, and and it's so funny because Ryan John, Ryan Johnson, roundhead fucking Ryan Johnson, world's worst asshole filmmaker, yeah. gave this movie a glowing review, kind of for the same reasons. We said, you know, it's not divisive or anything like that. Yeah. And that means a lot of the assholes in the drinker page are going to be like, oh, shit. Well, I'm going to avoid this yeah. movie then if he fucking um, re- actually, re- recommended it. it. You know, I, I found that I care a lot less about shit like that now that I'm not running yeah. it anymore. I I've said, told- you now you know how yeah. I felt this whole time. Like, who gives a fuck with a drinker and his fucking friends? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, like these, that's uh, the thing. these uh, um, these drinker you guys, uh, fans on the did, uh, fan, the, most of them are retarded guys. Let's did you guys, I learned that real quick joining that group. Did you guys ever listen one time to uh, any dialogue about other countries? I didn't notice at all. Uh, no, no, none of yeah. that shit matters. Yeah, they don't talk anything about other countries. Yeah, they're it. not. Oh, there address. is one. There is one really cringy line in the in the movie where the guys like. You know, we're gonna give you. Um, we need gas. We'll give you three hundred for. Uh, oh yeah, some, some gas and uh, uh, tires or whatever. Uh, those, yeah. Inflation, and he's like, uh, "Yeah, three hundred bucks. That'll get you a sandwich. You can pick ham or turkey." And he's like, 300 Canadian." And they're like, "Oh, yeah, real money." Me insinuating that American economy is inflation beyond. You know, three hundred dollars American sucks. I mean but that's kind somehow, of logical though. Isn't that kind right. of logical though? Right. But well, the idea that the Canadian dollar is going strong, motherfucker, the Canadian dollar is gonna be the first to get uh imploded and um switch really? to a digital and, digital world world yeah. dollar. Same thing with Australia, those just like the vaccine passports, like those countries that are run by these fucking WEF uh agents, they are gonna be the first to like do the um the bad shit, like move to vaccine passports, move to mm-hmm. digital fucking uh um we're uh a centralized dollar <laughs> that's and then every time that happens you think america's gonna follow suit and then surprise the constitution well, shut i'm up. curious like, like we said in the film so far this war the war's been going on for 14 months 14 months later west like would, would our american dollar start losing its its value then i would no, i agree so. i agree with all that stuff i, I just yeah. thought it was cringy how it's like you know 300 canadian is like gonna be yeah. somehow enticing <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, didn't I don't like know. That, that no. didn't really bother. That didn't really no, bother yeah. me that yeah. that much. Um, but yeah, no, I um, this was. Uh, I'm probably gonna watch this again. I just if not, nothing else for the really good gunfights. Yeah. Um, I I get so irritated as fuck watching movies where people uh, you know, go ahead and put zip ties on them. No, don't do. You know, and they wait until someone shoots at them first, and then they shoot them. They they make it like, listen, that doesn't happen in war. In real war, you get in a gunfight with somebody. They're taking too long. Like the the I almost cheered out loud when they had the thing and the the um the secret service agents trying to negotiate 
for the president's release and all that bullshit. And yeah. the one guy's like, Sergeant, you're taking too much time. And so they they pop her. And I was like, that's yeah. fucking based, man. That's realistic. You're not Stop taking talking. no prisoners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. The, you know, we're gonna we're we're gonna talk about exchanging uh, whatever. He's like, oh, oh yeah, we'll we'll take him. Don't worry, Terms. just give bring yeah. him on out here. Terms. <laughs> yeah, she was great. She was great. Um, yeah, and that's um, the other thing. Like normal, like yeah, normally like a black female running a squad is always kind of weird, but it's it's a rebellion force, so you know it makes sense. She wasn't know. running it. She was the she was she the was, sergeant. She was she was she in was there. The, yeah, yeah. She wasn't running. They, it exactly, they had a but... they had a they had a chief running the whole. Yeah. he was the guy barking right. orders at everybody. Right, right, right. Well, it definitely is. I mean, uh, it's not even spo spoilers for everybody, but you know, the third act is a big for most part action sequence. Now, Wes, you know, can you you know you know your stuff there? Does all this stuff in the third act because they're having they're having tanks, they're having yeah. missiles, they're having fucking helicopters? Yeah. Does this stuff like seem like legit i mean or yeah no way? yeah no they had a they i heard a guy i heard a guy as we were walking to my car uh right before i called you i heard a guy say well i'll say one thing they had a good technical advisor and uh, yeah. i agree i had I, yeah I like all this stuff like okay so you're you're barricaded send in a fucking helicopter the helicopter clears the way then you go up then there's another guy fortified somewhere send in a tank fucking blast Correct. him out of there and then you, just, you know it's just like well okay well all right if i'm gonna nitpick and do that which i don't really need to but if i was gonna nitpick the part at the end when they they're in the the firefight with the the security forces for the uh the mixed bag security forces of both uh i guess they had some soldiers and then they also had uh mostly secret service at the white house um, they're all hiding behind the Humvee. Humvees won't stop uh, bullets. Right, right. So uh, it'll sure. rip those those heavy heavy rounds are going to rip through a fucking Humvee like uh, paper. So I mean, you know, mm. that's no. no. I mean, unless it's like reinforced and you know, but you can see it very clear. Like they used to take sandbags and and fucking they would take the plates out of people's <laughs> Kevlar's and put them on their Humvees to like slow it down. But like taking a direct hit like that, that's no, yeah. that's that's not going to happen. Yeah, because okay. I mean, so far to date, you know, this has been uh, advertised as being, you know, A24 for the most part is a very low budget studio. This is their highest. Uh, They're pivoting to, uh, yeah, yeah, big budget action this is their, their first, films. This is their first big budget movie. I mean, good well, for them. And, and all the money, all the money's on the screen. It's not a fucking She Hulk thing where it's yeah. like, where yeah. did the 12 billion go well, or whatever? That's the funny yeah. part is the. the well, the fucking budget was reportedly 50 million for this. No, we're right. There's no yeah. money laundering involved. And the yeah. other thing that's great is, um, I mean, the previous highest. Um, budget movie they had done was Bo is Afraid, which was great. I, th I think I like Bo is Afraid more than this, but still, I like this a lot. Um, but obviously, if you didn't like Bo is Afraid, I would totally understand. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't I, like I this, if, if you didn't yeah. like this one, I would probably scratch my head. I was like, what didn't you like about it? Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a fine on, movie. On Bo is Afraid. I mean, you could argue that it wasn't as as great as I as we hoped it could have been. You know, it wasn't amazing. It was pretty good. It's pretty great. But you know, it wasn't like um, you know, world's greatest movie of the 21st century or anything. So I mean, you could, right. you could argue that was a complaint. But still, like most yeah. of the A24 movies are kind of, you know, they're kind of they're thinkers. Just good. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're just not. Good. They're not. They're not going to be a huge. Um, Did yeah, you guys get a bunch of A24 trailers before this? I did. Um, no, yeah, I, I three. didn't. Like there was like three A twenty four trailers. It was crazy. No, I mean, what I see, what I, my trailer was Planet of the Apes, uh, the new Bad Boys film. Um, uh, I didn't get any of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I didn't get any. I didn't get either of those. That's yeah, weird. I was yeah. mostly just. It was mostly just. Uh, uh, I had Deadpool. Well, Deadpool popped up, but okay. then I it was it was uh, the Maxine A twenty four movie, hmm. and then uh, some other horror movie uh, where they draw on each other, and then the these demons come out or some shit i don't fucking know um yeah, yeah no it was uh it's it's yeah. pretty cool like i was uh pretty happy with that and then like i said uh well, i knew right i knew right into this i knew i was like okay the the couple fears now obviously the last time we had like a divisive movie like this was in 2020 with the hunt and everyone's like yeah. oh it's gonna be some right wing uh weirdo shit and it wound up just being like a subversive almost black comedy kind of uh and uh yeah, kind of. Uh, so, uh, hmm. and then th this is different than that, but it it just it's the same thing. It's like whatever you think that you're gonna see, uh, it ain't. It, it's not that. Even me, I was just like, I don't really know what this is gonna be, but uh, I, I liked it. Uh, I wouldn't say as much more profiteering. It's kind of like the story's got the story's going too fast to spend too. Like these characters, they're on a quest from like 
New York to Washington. Yeah, it's, State. it's like Enzo and, says, it's a road trip movie. There's yeah, not, yeah, they're not spending a lot of time. They're going basically from set piece to set piece. And yeah, it's, it's, and, showed, and that's not bad. That's not yeah, bad they showed thing. the big thing on, th- uh, on screen. It says like, what was it 867 miles to Washington? And yeah. then two, two scenes later, yeah. 500 miles to Washington. Two scenes right. later, 200 yeah. miles to Washington. So they don't spend too much time. They're constantly on the move because the premise is Kirsten Dunn's character wants to get an interviewer like one last shot with the president before he gets killed. That's the whole premise yeah. of, the, of the, that's the basic story of the film. And it's not, you know, funny part is I would, maybe Tyler has some, some, uh, I guess like uh, merit to his complaint where it's like, it's not really a civil war film as much as it's, it's kind of like a, a pro journalist film in some ways. Yeah. Like, they don't yeah, spend, like I said, they don't spend a war like, photography film. Yeah. Cause I mean like, this isn't like, I think the trailers may, I guess like uh, mislead some people. This isn't saving private Ryan. You know, it's like, yeah. this really isn't a no, war film. Yeah. Gun, like I said, they could have, were... They could. Yeah. Oh, no, it yeah. seems like this. This was a script for like some kind of Middle Eastern war, and some genius was like, "Make this set in like the future, in like crazy American war, because yeah. that's going to get butts in the seats." But the actual yeah. story is your standard run-of-the-mill war yeah. journalism movie. I think this um, movie's going to do really well. You know, really? yeah, I mean, because it's also you know, he, he did three turns. I, so I think the main thing is whether it's good or bad or whatever, it's fucking original. I mean, mm-hmm. not terribly original, but the point is, it's not based off some existing IP. It's not a remake, not a sequel. People just yeah. want these fucking stories that aren't fucking you know <laughs> rehashes. Yeah. And it is. And it I looks, just heard that it, it, it I just heard they're great. remaking they're remaking Running Man all of a sudden with fucking Edgar Wright and the guy yeah. from. I'm Captain actually White. okay. No, I'm no, I'm actually okay with that because the fucking book. Is if they're going to base it off the book, then mm-hmm. I'm good with it. I'm good. Still, I'm not saying turned, the Running Man is some kind of cinematic masterpiece, but no, still. but the, they turned they turned it into an Arnold Schwarzenegger cartoon. So if they're going to base it off of what the book was actually like, Fair where it's enough. like the, where it's like the Fugitive, um, yeah. then I'm cool with that. If if that's yeah. it. Now if the if they are going to remake the Arnold cartoony version then no that's stupid yeah. and they shouldn't do that like um, saying, it's just like this is this is at least an original something new and original all right. yeah and it's beautiful yeah. it's like again again i i mean i can't stress that enough like all of the stuff uh you know all just the, the camera stuff is great all the camera stuff and just the way that the music and and the way they intertwine um each set piece is different you know, they're go. You can see the difference between at the beginning when they're in New York, and the gritty kind of urban sprawl, and then them being out in the Midwest and the, or you know, and 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 moving or not in the Midwest, but in the the East Coast and in the boonies and stuff. And then and then when they're then when they get to DC, you know, it it's like hyper saturated and stuff. And it's just, um, I mean, it's just a beautiful looking movie. That that scene where they're in the sniper battle and and Kirsten Dunst is just like. Wow, it's really beautiful out here in this little Christmas playland. I'm just gonna lay down and take a nap in this, like in the middle yeah. of this. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be the best movie of the year, but I'd be shocked if it doesn't wind up in my top four of 2024. So, yes. um, you know, it's it's great. You should have seen people jump at some of the gunshots, including my son jumped yeah. up out of his seat at a couple of the shots. Yeah, uh, I was just like, I, I I saw all of them coming, but. I mean, it's early right now because you know, it's first day, but that's around right critics. I mean, of course, audience scores, what matters in box office. It's still too early to tell. We'll give it a couple of days, but you know, it, it's yeah. still getting, I'd say, uh, pretty good word. I mean, still 84% is not a bad, that's not a bomb either. Yeah. That's still uh, decent. Up, upgraded, upgraded Ellen Page is, um, she really showed me something in this. <laughs> I haven't liked anything else that she's been in, and I wasn't super stoked about the Alien movie. So um, seeing yeah. her in this and her doing such a good job, I was like, okay, you know, she sold that fucking vomit scene when she did that. I'm like, yeah, damn, that's know. like, because after that, that stress hits you, that vomit looks CG. It was so real looking. I was like, Jesus, yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. So if she, she really it, puke on herself. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they like gave her some epic epicac or whatever and yeah. made her puke on herself. But uh, man, that was fucking. Yeah. I was just like, and then I've seen people do that. I've seen people right after a gunfight oh, right. throw up on themselves. And it's just like all the stress, you know, it settles in your body. And then you go into like survival mode and, and you just like purge. either piss yourself, throw up shit. Well, you know, like whatever hmm. and purge. Yeah. Like that. So, um, yeah, man, it was just, um, a, a beautiful looking movie. Uh, you know, I have my, my problems with it, but I'm okay with head cannoning that, you know, maybe in this, alternate version of of Amer- you know like these these reporters would be afforded that kind of leeway to you know quit I, i've never been in a civil war in america 
So it's not for me to say what they would do, wouldn't do. I have no idea. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, whatever that's worth. Okay. Name every gun. <laughs> <laughs> You're American. Name every gun. Yeah. Yeah. He was <laughs> fucking, he was so good. We push with agenda. agenda. Like what, what current deism? I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Top critics. Yeah, no, I mean, Nick, it's not, it's not a big thing I care about, but it's just, I'm always curious on critics, you know, how they feel about it. I mean, like I said, it comes down to at the end of the day, box office, that's all that matters. You know, because let's say, no. if you look at, if you look at Godzilla versus calling the critics scoring that versus the box office, I mean. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Who's, no, uh, so what was your standout? Who was, what was your standout scene? Who's standout person there, Blue, Blue Collar Loser? I mean, probably Jesse Plemons. I think my my main criticism really? is, yeah. <laughs> well, I think, uh, you, you, know, you flatter me, me. I think it's because you're secretly in love with me. That's what <laughs> yeah, I think. Right? Um, no, because one thing is, our friend Tyler did did uh, review the film, and I did watch his uh, review before uh, looking at this. Okay. I, I would say one criticism, and it's not shit on a movie, but in terms of the characters, truth uh -huh. be told, I mean, I think yeah, at least at Kirsten Dunst, uh, Pablo Escobar, um, kind of fat black dude from Dune. I felt like the characters for the most part. We don't know his name. Just call the fat black dude <laughs> over and over again. Like, I feel like well, it's like different. Like when me when me and Wes watch Land of Bad, like we we those characters we know and we kind of grew attached to. That's true. That's and, true. Yeah. Uh, I would say it said it's not it's not me shitting on us. My phone went off. Um, my main criticism is that the characters for the most part, yes, Kirsten Dunst has does have some backstory, but a lot of characters do feel kind of like bland in a sense. They're almost like they're. I mean, it's like you, you kind of want more, more like who these characters are. It's just, they're just kind of yeah. just, they're kind of just going from like point A to point B to point C to point D, you know? Yeah, I'll, I'll agree and, with that. I'll agree and with and that. It's, it's not saying it's a bad movie, but like, yeah, it's like we, the fact that we can't, it's got four main characters on a road trip. I can't tell you a single fucking one of their names. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. Lee me neither. was the girl. Lee was the girl, yeah. uh, okay. Kristen Dunst. And then um, that's about it. That's all I didn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But no, I, it's, I mean, it, I mean, it definitely be, like as Wes said, beautifully fucking shot. I'm watching, and thinking like, yeah, this, uh, you know, they go from like a very quiet scene, all of a sudden, bam, you hear the fucking gunshot, and like the gunshot, even like I just was on an IMAX, I'm like, oh shit, like that was, yeah, and felt like loud gunfire is always great. Yeah, I think my yeah, the sound design, the cinematography were great. I think for me, yeah. my favorite thing was the runtime, it's a hundred yeah. minutes. Because even if this movie sucked, it was like, oh, it's a hundred minutes, whatever. It's yeah. nothing, yeah. Like I said, dude, I was so happy when I checked the movie started and I checked the total runtime, and I was like, "Oh, yeah. hell yeah, yeah!" I'll be out of here Blue, before it gets dark. Yeah, when me and Blue were planning this out, um, I um, I was like, "Oh, cool. This is this is not going to be uh, a long All thing." Day. And I, there, what? There's no need for that. You right. don't need that. You, you could have made this a three-hour world-building yeah. epic. Fucking. I no. mean, I'm sure someone's going to say. I'm sure someone is going to complain and say the ending is rushed or like the very end is just like is all of a sudden but you know what what else were they gonna what, what do you want to see yeah. them walk away together yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and and have and have uh some scene where pablo escobar hands uh fucking upgraded ellen page lee's camera and say she wanted you to have this no it was the fucking it was the whole uh i, I liked it i like yeah. the fact that she's just like saying uh you know Hey, if I get shot, are you gonna are you gonna snap pictures of me? What do you something think? I also liked about the movie is there was some levity, there was plenty of levity. Like they showcase, like even during like crazy American Civil War, fall of the new empire, people are still fucking singing campfire songs and telling jokes and smoking weed. I, yeah, I kinda... like that thing. I like that thing in the arena where they had just they just yeah, had people refugees like, like out. yeah. Um, that is very accurate. Um, that's uh, something I've seen. I, you know, I've the movie wasn't overly it. serious or dramatic or fucking pretentious. You know, I like. No, that. it wasn't pretentious at all. It was just it was a bare bones. It almost looked like we were watching, uh, this thing like take place in like real time. People's reactions to things were were genuine. You know, when they realized they were in serious trouble with Jesse Plemons and his crew, yeah. like you could you could see the terror on uh upgraded ellen page's face like she you know her shoulders she did are a really good job of being scared yeah her shoulders okay. are hunched up like she's anticipating a fucking gunshot at any second she's just like she doesn't know what's going to happen and uh you know she, you could see sort of like just the pure terror in her face and you can yeah. see even even kirsten dunst got emotional when their their uh you know their asian friend gets fucking popped and she's just like because even <laughs> then right here. she's just <laughs> yeah she's just like too far you know like i guess like 
you know, Kirsten Dunst a little, you know, she's obviously jaded, but she's she's kind of used to walking away from a lot of these things. She yeah, she's going to see terrible stuff, but at the end of the day, she's probably gonna she's probably gonna walk away. Um, and yeah. this one, like, she's was like, man, we might all be fucking dead here. This guy's not fucking around. You know, yeah. like we just we we just ran into Hannibal Lecter with a fucking M4. You know, yeah. um, so you know, uh, I would have liked to have a little bit more Jesse Plemons, <laughs> but you know what? Maybe less is more with that. So yeah. yeah, you have zero interest in this. Well, it's a good movie, so I mean, I don't. Yeah, know. it was. I was yeah. surprised. I was uh, pleasant. I'll tell you surprised. what, Adam. Adam, if you go see it, and you don't like it. Give me your Venmo. I'll Venmo you the money back uh, if you don't. Um, like there you go. Shit. Yeah. Well, he's just gonna. Yeah. He's just gonna lie and say he saw it. I don't believe that. No, he'll get free ten bucks. Adam's not like that. He's he's an honest guy. I don't believe that. He might be Um, a douchebag, but he's an honest guy. What's one thing about three of us? We we all went to go see this film in Lansted, and I tried saying that you know all of us as whatever as people as reviewers, I just 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 people that are fucking movie fans. It's really kind of disgusting, West that and Enzo. We live in a world where because of uh, it's called civil war and because our fucking uh, current economy and uh, climate is so political that people just because it's not it's not either far left or far right. They, they all make hate the film. Okay, well, the so thing is, that. we know that the movie was made by fucking far leftists. So that's why yeah. I appreciate the fact they didn't make the movie far yeah. left. No, I, I appreciate that. It's, too. it's made gotta... like, yeah, it's made by and starring a bunch of these fucking people. And yeah. I got to tell you, mean... even though it's it's made by I'm actually shocked because of the way that. I mean, it's, you know, they're, I don't know, man. A lot of the stuff just seemed really fucking realistic to me. Like I was kind of like, uh, no, there's no naval component. Um, I was really sort of, um, uh, you know, I, I'm getting hyped. I'm watching yeah. these fucking gunfights and I'm just like, God damn, I miss this shit so much. I can't no, wait till it happens it, in it real seems, life. You know, it's, it's mostly a road trip. So like they're just, it's uh, all the action scenes are just on ground level where it's like they're doing said tanks or just uh, ground yeah, troops. Yeah. And Every time, things. yeah, they the, it's like, yeah, they drive a little further, stop somewhere, interesting little set piece happens, and then they continue on their journey. It's a very <laughs> Eastern story uh, yeah. structure. Yeah, but we, well, that's that, that's the whole premise of being a good writer director is that you can be like whatever far left or far right. And Stanley said it himself, you know, I'm I, I don't try to put my political views into my characters. Like, do you think that he wrote Magneto and he actually felt that way, or he wrote Xavier? Like, no. And you can be, oh. be a certain way. Uh, speaking of which, we we got it, Enzo. We got it. We got to watch fucking X Men, dude. We got to do a video. Yeah, what happened? This episode five, someone died. Internet. The internet is oh, going God. fucking. Well, I, I don't well, know what. Ha- spoil it. Who I, died? I, uh, Magneto and Gambit. They both died. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we'll be back. Because I comments. thought, because I thought I saw based on like, because nobody was just outright saying it, and I'm like, just fucking tell me, because it looks like Gambit's dying. If so, great. We we gotta yeah. watch it, dude. It it looks epic. But anyway, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to get too yeah. far off topic. Um, I like. Uh, I just. I can't express to you guys enough how much I hate seeing combat stuff where people, even in Land of Bad, even in Land of Bad, uh, the good guys were still sort of a. You know, they wouldn't shoot unless they were fired upon. You know, it's not like it's not like that. I I can't stress enough how much it's not like that, dude. When the shit's really bad. You're not, there's no shooting board. There's nobody's looking at you, you know, like you get a guy who was just shooting at you and now he's unarmed. You're not going to wait for him to get armed again and then shoot you again. You're going to put one in his fucking face. You know, like that chick gets out of the car at the end and she's just like, "Uh, no, I give up. I give up. And they're just like, yeah, whatever. And they light her ass up. Where are they, you know, where are you going to put them? There's no jail. There's no place to, there's no POW. Yeah. They don't have the infrastructure for that. Like you're, you're dead. You know, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, like Lance said, whoever the cinematographer, the whoever the, or like you're saying to Wes, whoever um, what was working on it, like, who, yeah, who they were putting? using all kinds of cool lenses. They were yeah. using all kinds of cool different cameras. I and like the best the part. I, the, I don't know what who complained about the music. I liked the music. I thought it. Yeah, I thought Tyler, it Tyler thought it was a little tonal whiplash, but I, I felt nah. like, I know what they were going I thought it for. Informed, yeah, I, I thought it really informed the surrealism. All the music has this like, Americana vibe yeah. with like acoustic guitars and kind of shit like that. But um, what's also funny is like, um, yeah, I also loved like they did this great thing, the, this motif throughout the whole film where, you know, there's war journalists taking photos. So like every once in a while, there'll be like a freeze frame black and white with no sound showing you what's happening, showing you the pictures yeah. she's been taking. So you, cause like 
like they said, they had a great line for every every uh, thirty pictures you take, probably get one good one. You know, that's usual yeah. for these uh, war photography. Yeah, I did like that the action scenes, like there's a big action scene, like you said, every thirty seconds it stops to show a picture during the it was action just scene. Splice, they, like yeah. it's totally yeah. silent, cool. black and white, cool. still frame. It was great. That was it really helped. Cool. It also helped you absorb the action a lot better. Um, no, this agree. is funny. I just got this alert, you guys. This is so stupid. Femke Jensen confirms if original really? Jean Grey makes Deadpool 3 cameo. Oh, God. I don't and then you know. read the article and you find out the answer is no. She does. Okay. She's not Good. in it. <laughs> and you're just like, what the fuck kind of bullshit article is this? Why do I, I get really. notifications for this? My phone yeah, literally vibrates That's to why tell said, me about this I'm, shit. I love Ryan Reynolds. I love Deadpool. I love Hugh Jackman. But I am very worried that like we're going to get a fucking two hours I'm of cameos. Not. I don't I'm not. I don't I'm not. I think, I I think it's going to... As much as he cares about that, but I'm not going to. Um, so I will also say one other slight, you know, I'm not a super, you know, I don't like to be that like, oh, that's not accrurate to what an actual of M50 yes, you do. would do. Yeah, you are. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm actually really laid back with that, actually. All right. uh, but at the end, when like Jesse's laying in the in the in the expended shell, they actually have fucking like the full the actual full bullets are like laying in there. They're not like shell casings. She's actually oh. laying in bullets. <laughs> I didn't get no that. I, that's annoying too. Yeah, that's that. I was like, okay, that's a little. I get what they were trying to do with that, but I mean, whoever yeah. they're technically, you know, I, apparently they were just like, listen, we'd have to have her laying in a bunch of shell, and they just threw the bullets on the ground, and like you know, like no, actually, it would be casings. But yeah, that's what um, he posted. That's, Sorry, it's it's hard to read it, but how do you do this? Why do you keep doing this? Well, why do you do? Yeah, we it's can't read that. It's the pictures on Google. It's all, I'm fucking sucks. Okay, so well, we can't. Why even bother putting it, it up? Says, we can't see Civil it. War star says dystopian action movie. <laughs> this conversation needs to be had. <laughs> Breaking news: Click our link to find if out if Enzo is yeah. going to have a cameo in the new Deadpool movie. The answer will shock you, and you'll just be like, "No, I, he's not." I <laughs> would. Yeah, no, I would actually definitely like it. That's how those news course. articles are, though. I get it. Anytime the news article headline has a question. <laughs> The answer is almost always no. Yeah, right. No, it's not, I mean, trust me. Not every film I've said. Like, I, I watched Godzilla versus Kong twice. I know that film is not made for a huge audience. I, mean, I was shocked how many yeah. movies this um, uh, Kaylee Spaney has has been in, and I didn't realize she was the little ugly version. Uh, you know, almost like the the Craft Legacy twenty twenty movie. I didn't know yeah. she was that. I didn't know she was Priscilla from the fucking Elvis movie. I didn't know that. Yeah. I forgot she was a little sister in fucking bad times at El Royale. Um, uh, so I mean, she's she's a she's an actress, man. She's you know because she's she's changed a lot of uh, you know she's done a lot of different shit. I'm I'm here for yeah. it all day. I like it. Okay. So um, but yeah, and uh, you know now that I've seen her do this, I'm feeling a little bit better about Alien Romulus. I'm thinking maybe she's not just a little Ellen Ripley yeah. knockoff. Yeah. This is this is the true map for my E24 right here. That's how it should be. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I gotta go to the store. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for um, you know, and we should wrap this in. up. Yeah, yeah, nudging into our uh, yeah. This our... way, I felt like it could come on here so that way we don't have to repeat all this shit on Monday because there's a lot to go over Monday because I have you know we missed two weeks and there's yeah it's been a busy yeah. news week. Somebody so it's was like we could get high in the shitter in the Porter John at fucking <laughs> fucking Eclipse Fest. I thought it would have been funny to take pictures of all the shitters. Also, I thought I I didn't realize like I had came on the, the Losers Lounge stream. I didn't realize you guys were off the air already. So like. Oh really? My, our, little, uh, our little, our my little appearance wasn't on the episode, right? Well, we did an extra. Uh, uh I don't know. Was it? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, uh, we but did anyway. an extra. We did an extra uh, movie review. Uh, That's what I meant. I, Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Monday. Yeah. We did on. an we did an extra one uh, in yeah. your honor for uh, the fucking end of the world. Yeah, I did pop I, in on that briefly, and I was like, "Hey, what's up?" Megan says hi. I didn't realize like nobody else saw that except you two. <laughs> oh. Um. So sure. anyway. Um. But that being said, yeah, Monday. Yeah, we'll just do a standard uh, dork side episode. Go over a bunch of shit. Yeah. Do a long one. We'll probably do. A yeah, I got I got lots to tell you about this fucking uh, cold Man. brings plenty thing. We'll be Would you, you rather do it earlier or late? Yeah. I am fine with whatever you want to do is fine with me. My schedule's open right now. Yeah. All right. Well, what's well, your schedule tomorrow on Tuesday? Do you have to get up early Tuesday? Nope. Okay. So uh, yeah, we'll do. Maybe we'll do uh, Monday late, eleven p.m. But yeah, we'll go over all the shit that way. That yeah. way, this way, uh, Monday we could just say, "Hey, Civil War, we saw it." Go. Watch the review. We don't have to yeah. fucking rehash I think that all this would shit be, again. 
I I would definitely think, yeah, I don't really want to. And the other thing is the Eclipse uh, stream I'm doing Sunday. That's another thing. You, I don't have to, we don't have to rehash how was my Eclipse party on Monday. <laughs> you'll hear it all. You'll hear all about it on Sunday. We'll go all into fucking crazy yeah. pedantic detail of all the shit that happened. It's fun. Pedantic yeah. even. Oh, by the way, Chris, uh, they are not showing uh, uh, Gentlemanly Warfare oh, early in, in my theater. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah. I, there's nothing I can do you about suck. it. Sorry. Well, but, uh, Enzo, uh, since your first time with me and Wes, we always say, like, you know, this is our low bar. Oh, you know? we'll give him the, que- yeah. oh, give him the questions. So, give so him the we'll, questions. We'll, no, we we'll, we'll we have the bar. It's like, remember, it's like, did did Civil War raise the bar? Is it at the bar? Is it low bar? Below like, the how, bar. How, how do you where, feel where, fucking, are you put, where are you putting the bar? I mean, is it good, mm-hmm. bad, shitty? How do you feel about it? I think it's above the bar, current bar. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely above the bar. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair. I mean, uh, for me, I think it's a little bit above the bar. I, I probably won't rate as high as Wes only because, like I said, I respect the te- I respect the technical aspect of it. I respect the fact these guys didn't uh, pick sides, but I will admit that some of the story elements and some of the characters were kind of lacking. But I still think it's a good, good goddamn movie, and especially the third act. The third act for me was fantastic. Okay, uh, I go above the bar, way above the bar, and um, I do admit though that uh, part of uh, <laughs> you will try. Uh, I do. I, I think that part of why I liked it, I will admit, is that I just yes, I do. I'm excited uh, at the thought of this mm. actually happening. Um, I think you're going to get and I, I honestly you laugh, but I think we're going to get a lot of that. I think there's going to be a well, lot of people. Yeah. They're going to watch this movie and go, fuck, yeah, I'd like to go fucking take out the White House. Fuck, yeah, I'd like to go do this shit and take over. I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. it's like it's like, you know, they made the movie Colors and Menace to Society and Boys in the Hood. As yeah. ways to say, hey, gang violence is wrong, but all the gang mm. members I know love those fucking movies and <laughs> and say it gets them hyped up. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, this shit got me hyped up, man. I wanted to fucking get my uniform back on and join the the, the fucking the Western forces, and I wanted to get into some shit, man. I mean, yeah. I yeah, I, I don't I know. You got some, uh, you got some friggin' uh, military bias going on then. <laughs> yeah. And I and I freely admit that, but yeah, I well, definitely I, think I said it's, the same thing. That's why I said Hills of Flower and Moon. I said um, objectively, I could get but people's problems with it, but because I have native uh, heritage and, and shit, and also we there know you the go. Cap, yeah, the cap, you know, Native American. You know, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so I have a certain bias, but I get why people didn't like it as much as I did. So, uh, like Wes said, this is uh, for Wes. This is his his fucking his wet dream. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah, my dick was rock hard the whole movie for sure. Yay. For sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, cool. Gonna, that should all. be like the, that should be put in the neon green text and quotes. My dick was rock hard for sure. There you go. Fuck Civil yeah. War. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you want to? Hey, do you want to end it? You want to end it with a picture of Jesse Plemons and me uh, side by side? Oh god, I'm t- Enzo, can sure. you do All right, let, let Enzo do it. How do I do it? Oh, I know how to do know. it. Let me uh, just give me a minute. I can you figure sure it out. <laughs> look, look. Let me let me uh, go to uh, so, first. Let me find. Dwight. So we'll talk Do about, I think like, that you should spend your money on it? Yes, I think you should spend I'll your hard earned money on it. Questions. Do I think that uh uh you know it's I got it's... it. Go ahead. No, no, keep talking. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh <laughs> would I recommend you to go to go see it as opposed to waiting for it on streaming? Absolutely I would. Um what's the other question, Chris? That I'm supposed oh, okay, to say? I'm trying to find it right here. It's, it's uh so number one is yeah, so did you like how'd you feel about it? Would you recommend I, it? I loved yeah. it. Yes, I would recommend it. And you know, would you spend, uh, would you spend your hard-earned money on it? I I would spend my I did spend my hard-earned money on it, and I did. Um, uh, I would recommend you do the same. I think it's I think this is a much more appreciated in the theater. So, um, okay. uh, I I I don't there you go. I don't Hang think on. I would have liked it as much. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I, I don't think I would have liked it as much if I um if I'd yeah. seen it streaming. Uh, I did it, it yeah. kept my ass in this. It kept my ass in the seat. And um, you know those those pauses Thank after you. something horrible happens in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Nick, you are a fucking rock star. You should jump on a stream with us sometime, I buddy. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I, don't damn, know if, I don't know if you're. Uh, you should jump on the stream with us one of these What's days. What's colors? Colors has a bitch in the soundtrack. Hmm. Yeah, because I was saying how like oh. uh, colors is supposed to be like make you think like oh gang violence is terrible, but all the gang members yeah. I know love colors. So, yeah, nice. Yeah. Also, for Tuesday, what, what's what's our Tuesday uh watch now? So we got. Uh, I think see, we're uh, doing uh, Kingpin. Kingpin. Oh yeah, Hot Kingpin. Shots one and two. No, Hot Shots one and two. You're right. 
Right. Yeah. I'll probably only be able to do Hot Shots one. I'll probably have to jump off after Hot Shots one. Oh shit! All right, I'm sharing my screen. Fucking bullshit. There you go. (laughs) Good enough. (laughs) It's the same. Wow! Wow! That's uh, crazy. That is great. It's like it's like someone. (laughs) Hey, AT4 saw my Facebook page and and put fucking Jesse Plemons was like, hey, uh, we got a good idea. We want you to look like this one psychopath, and then we're gonna put red glasses on you. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, gonna be, that's oh, gonna be next okay. week, Adam. So yeah, uh, this Tuesday is uh, Hot Shots one and two next week, Kingpin. So yeah, man, Enzo, I wish you were there for fucking uh, fired up, dude. I I have the list. I was going to watch that movie this weekend and your stream at the same time. So. Yes. I'll be caught up when I show up next to you. That's a very good question. Is... Next. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. You're not yeah. wrong. You're not wrong. All right. Well, we'll head out since Ezra's got to uh, go to store. Yeah. We gotta do I gotta go yeah, buy we'll tomatoes. Let's... Yeah. I might actually go stop by the karaoke spot now that the contest is probably yeah. over. So. Yeah. Okay. so me and Ezra yeah, were watching wanna... fucking. Me and Ezra watching. Dude, I walked in. Together. I walked into the place, the karaoke place. It's fucking packed. Yeah. And it's just like that movie I said I wanted to do. Uh, it's it's repeating all over again. I walk in and there's like a bunch of strangers in there. Yeah. And like right on the stage is like this big fat black bitch like singing her balls off radio <laughs> nice. head. And I'm just like, dude. Nice. Like, nice. have, yeah, but, it, but the point is like I don't have a chance at winning this shit because like all these um, professionals show up and uh, was she you know, singing it like was she singing it like radio? Singing it all, she no, singing she's it? singing it all like fucking Whitney Houston with all the runs. Oh, and shit, I know? love that. I love no, but that I mean, part. I hate that shit because like you know, basically that's what happened. How are you, gonna, how are you gonna beat that? Yeah, how are you gonna beat watch that? my uh, <laughs> watch my Yokesters video where I it's like an excerpt from the Dork Side where I talk about the movie idea I, I had. Will. I will about um, and it, and you. Yeah, it's funny. It's a great story idea, but yeah, the idea is you have all these uh professional like singers and their whole thing is they all like go around uh, the state or the country going to various karaoke contests to just like i know be a ringer and kick ass it's funny why well, I, I have a i have a very good friend and she gets up and fucking she storms it she's a a drama teacher and she gets up by karaoke and she just she smashes it every single time so i i have like no chance mm-hmm. but uh hey let me know when you want to jump on uh uh what you call it and uh watch x-men I'm down. I really yeah. want to watch that with you guys. Oh, I uh, see. And you need me Discord. to watch it. Is that kind of? Yeah, okay? I kind of. Yeah, we yeah, could, yeah okay. Do. That's I'm, that's fair. I'll do it. We I need your. Watch I need your. I, I, need your uh, I won't Captain record Jack it this Farrell. time because, like, uh, you know, I didn't, I'm not going to do anything with the last recording we did. So, okay, you know, we'll just, yeah. Oh, just rec- well, we'll just we'll just watch well, it to talk I about it. We'll just watch it to talk about it. Able yeah. watches our loses lounge. Uh, ends up watch episode one of MacGruber. Has to watch that as well. He looks so retarded with that hat on. I mean, his hair his hair grew back fast, didn't it? I told people Captain, what? yeah, yeah, mine too. Mine's been growing. Mine's, yep. mine's all fucking. Uh, yeah, I just chopped it like but a yeah, month ago. Let me know. Let me know when we're doing that, and I'll yeah. uh, jump on. Oh yeah. Also, right. Wes. Oh yeah. Nick. Nick, yeah. Uh, Nick says we have to watch um Fallout. We have. Oh yeah. To watch Fallout. We have to watch yeah. Fallout like this weekend, basically. That's I think because right. like, nine shows. Because uh, he wants to talk about it on Tuesday, and I'm like, like ah. Even Nick, oh. Nick said well, my, well, my son's my son's been staying with me, and he's obsessed with Fallout. Cool. So yeah, uh, yeah, I hear it's I, only six episodes, which isn't bad. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I'm going over to my friend's house tomorrow, and we'll probably watch a couple episodes, and then I'll probably finish it up here All at right. the house. Yeah, and uh, yeah, my my son plays the shit out of that game. So um, right. I'm gonna watch it. a bunch of random movies if I can, if I got time, but I'm also going to f- do the finishing touches on Renfield. I'm going to have it ready by yeah. Sunday and hopefully it'll premiere um, we this week. Some right. point. It's like 20. And so do you still have a DVD player somewhere? I mean, <laughs> technically yes. I don't, I haven't used it, but yes, I do have a DVD player. Of course. I'll, I'll send you a bunch right. of movies if you want. I have a, um, my PlayStation and obviously I've got an actual DVD player. All right. yeah. Well, maybe, awesome. maybe, uh, Santa, Toxicity will uh <laughs> send you that. So all right, guys. Yeah, right, thank right. you for um all right. Yeah, this thanks, was this thanks, Rick, Adam, Darth, everybody. We'll see you uh we'll see you Monday. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna leave. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right, later.